This Monday, we get the mini chocolate finished on the long run. All right, guys, this week we're going to finish mocking up the mini chopper, uh, get the front forks on it, probably try to get the front fender on. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just gonna mock it up. I'm gonna move this camera though. Yeah, better. templates the other night. We're gonna go ahead and sheet metal this in. Because uh, it's, it's pretty solidly built, but it's a little thinner than I would like it to be. So with the rake on it, I want to add a little more rigidity to the front. Plus it'll give us a place to mount our battery for the lights and stuff. Because uh, as I mentioned before, this, this motor doesn't have a generator, whatever, built into the flywheel. And the magneto stuff are, is too expensive to fool with.
It's a lot on this welding table, but it'll be alright. Still gotta pick up a nut for this. We're gonna use these four-wheel drive truck shock boots as shock boots to cover this lower part. And we'll wrap this top part in black as well. We're gonna clean these up real good and paint them satin black. Paint the truck tree covers black. Uh, undecided on the frame right now if we're just gonna paint the frame all satin black as well. And focus on the color coming from the paint and the fenders. Um, but we'll see. Here's our rear fender. It's actually a boat trailer fender, but we'll we'll shape it up a little bit. We're gonna trim it down some on each side so it can go all the way through and I'll put another crossbar here where it'll cover all the way down. What I'm trying to figure out is if I want to All right, so let's see if I can get to focus in on this. This will clear the seat mount. 
this will let it come in between the sissy bar so it should just slip right in there this way Yeah, I think that'll do just fine. We'll have to massage it just a bit in some places, but we'll build a crossbar down here. So hold that about right there. Probably gonna have to bring this all the way off the this side right here because of the chain. Well, no, the chain's right there. So we might be able to just take the edge off of it. But yeah, I think that'll sit pretty good. Let it sit just like that. And we'll, let's see here. Let's see, here's our, here's our light. So we'll, we'll either mount this right here, or I may even just turn it around and mount it right there. Matter of fact, that's probably what we'll do. I can turn it around, mount it right there. I can drill this out and just tap it, mount it right there on the sissy bar. I think that'll look cooler anyway. Put it up kind of high to where it doesn't mess with the graphics on the fender. So, all right, I'm on. Let me get down here on your level. I'm going to uh, go ahead and finish mocking this fender bracket up. I'll cut a cross brace where we can get it bolted in. Um, and we'll go from there. So I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll go over where we're at. All right, guys. Sorry. I got a little distracted with the boys. Um, I made a, I bought a new toolbox uh, a couple weeks ago and I had the, the, my old toolbox listed for sale and ended up trading it for for these two coleman bikes um they both had issues i should have recorded it right but they both had issues uh broken chain both of them had flat tires on them um but overall they were in really good shape uh broken throttle cable on the red one um and the rear wheel was uh the tire was flat and the guy had lost the brake disc and lost the sprocket uh, and the brake caliber was jacked up. So, but I was able to basically rebuild the rear brake, uh, Amazon for the new caliper, or excuse me, for the new disc and the new sprocket and the tire. Um, and then I realized that on Go Power Sports, you could buy the whole tire with a rim, with a sprocket, with the brake disc and the caliper for about $10 less than I played for the parts. So, order a second one of those for another project we're going to start here pretty soon because the chopper we're just going to get rid of the chopper we're going to do it have fun with the project have fun with the build and then we'll sell it and use the money to fund something else but um figured i'd show you these two real quick like i said they're they're both damn near brand new mini bikes um in great shape they they both run absolutely excellent i mean one pull of the rope there and sebastian actually can start his by himself but it's it's super easy too they both run really really good and the kids dig them uh i'll put a video in here of them riding around the backyard but that kind of distracted me from working on on this project for today but that's all right well uh i've got some some decent content we did uh get the front fender done 
we got the rear fender sectioned and, and pieces cut out of it to where it clears the the sissy bar and a few other things um but next week we will next week we'll get these panels finished i'll go ahead and get them cut out of sheet metal we'll get those tack welded in um and i think we've got enough of this stuff mocked up where we're gonna go ahead and blow the bike back apart again uh so we can start sanding it all down uh cleaning it all up getting it ready for paint i'm also gonna clean the engine real well get it ready for paint and everything else so probably a couple more weeks but um apologize for the lack of content this week uh we still got our 20 minutes out of the deal like i try to do every week so hope you guys had a great weekend hope this gets your monday kicked off well and see you next monday but but thanks for joining and we'll see you again next week i hope uh if you if you like what you see remember like click subscribe all that other good jazz uh share with a friend too if you'd like um and i'll let you know once we get this this one here done what we're actually going to sell it for listen for but uh, they're they're going for a pretty penny, but I'm not going to really want to make a whole bunch of money out of it. I just want to get it gone and so I can start on another project. Because right now, um, between the the mini bikes and the boys, they've got razor bikes as well. We're going to be we've already listed those on Facebook Marketplace, but most of the garage is a, is a mess from all the toys. Chris the Saturn's actually sitting out in the driveway under a cover that doesn't go over real well. So. We're going to try to get the garage cleaned up a little this afternoon uh, before I can put the car back in here. But thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video to get your money started well. And uh, we'll see you next Monday. Take care. Remember where your break is. It's going to run right into that tree. It didn't go bad.